Hey guys, this is Muhammad Shamir and I'm back with another Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can delete the record from your Access database using Java. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. So in the last tutorial, I have taught you guys how you can insert new records with the help of Java in your access database and so here are some records which I would delete in this video tutorial so let's start working I will make another form delete form I have deleted the insert form so that uh, you guys won't get confused so here is the form let's add a label a button and a text field okay this is a button I will name it delete okay I will add a label <coughs> will name it ID okay and I will make a text field in which the user will enter his ID I will change its variable name I will change this variable name to ID. Okay. So now, when the user will click the delete button, after entering the ID in this uh, text field, so the ID should be deleted from the your access database. So this is the place where we will code for the button. So I will make a string variable ID. Okay. And I will initialize this ID variable with the ID which the variable name of this. Okay. I will dot get text function. I will use this get text function. So now you guys will be thinking that what is what does this function do? Well, I have told you guys the uh, purpose of this function, but I will tell I will tell you again. Okay. So this get text function do that it takes the input which the user will enter in this text field and will save in this id variable okay so basically it will get the text from this text field and on the button press it will save it in this id variable so now we will make a delete function inside our uh, connecting to database class so here in connected to db class we have already two functions uh, new connection and add new user okay so we will make another function it would be a void type function public void delete okay I will give it a argument string id okay so we will do the same work that we did in the last tutorial we will make the connection connection on equal to the function that we have above so this is a built in class of connection so we are and we had made the connection inside this function if you have watched the first video of this playlist ok so we had made the connection now we will make statement st equal to con dot create we will create a state, create a statement here ok so it's giving an error what is the error oh, oh sorry it should be inside a try and catch block I have told you the purpose of try and catch block in my last tutorial it's, it is used to catch exceptions ok so it will print if there will be any exception so now we will the main thing of this uh, tutorial is the QE so now I will declare a string variable name as query and I will 
write the query here. It is the delete query. Delete from the name of your table. I will delete it from table two. Okay. Where? Now here you will write the page name. So what was this, our field name which we want to delete? The ID. This is the name of our field. So we will write it as it is ID. Okay. E now press equal to. Now we have to write this I, uh, argument for which we have uh, to compare. Okay. Plus ID. Okay. And so now we have wrote the query. Now we will execute the query. Make a n type variable a equal to st dot execute update. It will execute our query. So now what should it do when the user enters the ID in this point and press the delete button? It should go. So oh, before that, we have to call the function here from the connector DB class. For that, we have to make its object. We will call the function uh, delete function and we we'll send the ID to the delete function. Okay. So now, what should it, what it should do when the user Enter the ID and press the delete button. It should go here and save in the ID variable. Okay. Then it should go to the function which is in the connecting to DB class here as an argument. Now it will delete. It will first it will compare the user defined ID from the access. And if it he will find, uh, sorry, it will find the ID, then it it will delete the all the information from that ID. So now let's run it and see is it working or not. So close your database and go to your form, clean and build it, and run it. Now, as I have I three IDs in my database, so I will give it two. I will give it ID number two. And I will press delete. Now, let's see is it deleting or not. So there is no exception. I will go to our database and see that it is working or not. Go to table two. So here you can see that the ID number two. Is deleted, which was to Harris one two three. Oh, sorry, Harry one two three, and the password was Harris. So you can see that it is deleted now. If you are confused, then please do watch the two tutorials which I made before this in the playlist. So if you watch those tutorials, you will not be confused. So thank you so much. I hope you guys understand it. Like, subscribe, share, and take care.